The governor officially signed a proclamation today calling lawmakers back to the roundhouse for a special session tomorrow to focus on crime fighting bills. Fellow Democrats have made it clear though they did not want to return, but today the governor brought in a room full of leaders to help make her case. News 13's Jessica Barron has more on why they say action is needed now. Hypodermic needles laying all in our land that are deposited by these individuals. A plea from leaders from all across the state asking lawmakers for help surrounding crime and public safety. You find these individuals that are un unauthorized camping on a reservation. Then you find the illegal dumping. Today, Governor Lujan Grisham let fed up mayors, police, business leaders and health advocates vent to help make her case to lawmakers after fellow Democrats said earlier this week a special session would be a waste of time and money since there's no consensus on the bills. Tomorrow at noon, we're asking lawmakers to do right by New Mexico families, to do right by all of our cities and counties and to create the kind of opportunities for us to get help to the people who need that help. She originally proposed five crime-fighting bills that would address criminal competency, mental health treatment standards, crime reporting, pedestrian safety, and gun violence. Today, she added two more, dealing with updating the Racketeering Act and fentanyl drug overdoses. Governor, you are right to believe like we do. <coughs> that continued high crime does reputational damage to Mexico and our quality of life for residents and businesses alike. But will anything get done during this session? And when they say to you it's going to take a lot of work, it has. We, we're doing the work. It has. But don't let them tell you that they don't have enough time. Jessica Barron, CARICUE News 13. The governor also added funding for Ruidoso to the agenda.